Hey FlossTube, welcome to Creative Womb Studio. I'm back. Day two of my recording. It's equally as dark today. <laughs> it's raining. It is what it is. And I don't have any of my ring lights down here because Kevin is coming home today from hunting with his brothers up north. And uh, we are recording some of our mixology for the jingle ball. So the lights are up there, blah, blah, blah. So I have lights, the yellow casting kind of lights in my studio on either side of me so the lighting's terrible but I, what whatever <laughs> i'm trying to remember where i left off last night i know we were talking about antiques and hall and just i was kind of going through uh the retreat so let's just continue to do that so it is early today it is early so i'm still working on my coffee okay I believe that this was also from the yes this was also from the grapevine antiques in Amana Iowa I I love old jars especially when they have a cool design on them in like a red lid come on it says at woods at woods the coffee of good taste vacuum packed but whenever i can find tin and glass together this would be great for orts <laughs> you'd have to be a pretty prolific stitcher to fill this with orts no i was kidding i'm talking about buttons so i'm always looking for antique buttons and i i want to fill jars with antique buttons and just have them spaced everywhere in my house and in my studio then oh this is going to be so great for staging for photography this little pack of christmas card place settings so let me show you some of them let's start from the beginning oh gosh okay so some are upside down angels what is this one angels i don't know if she's an angel no she's just a lady with a snow shovel this one and then the angels look how sweet their little faces are uh here is a snow lady oh my gosh she's so cute so anyway these will be fun to use for staging like christmas uh designs and look at the snowman on the end. Oh my goodness, he is adorable. I love these. And so I'll show you the back real quick. Christmas card place settings. Now I would have just thought they were little figurines, but actually what they do is they hold, they must have a slit in the back or somewhere on them and you put a place card in there. And so they can be, you know, for your table settings. Love that. And then this cool ashtray. <laughs> kind of random but they had a bunch of these and they had different states they didn't have michigan but they had missouri and my dad was from missouri you might know that we just went down there to visit my aunt and my cousin this past summer and uh to be honest i am in need of ashtrays you know because we have company that smokes and uh i bought these really cool wooden ashtrays that are supposed to be weatherproof that had like metal inside and then the little like divots to put your cigarettes but it has a lid because i wanted to be able to leave it outside on the patio furniture and then i have one downstairs under the patio well people don't think to put the lid back on so right now we have it's been raining so i just happened to look out and i saw the lid was off it and there's like cigarettes floating around in water so it's like cigarette stew it's disgusting <laughs> it's disgusting so i'm probably going to pitch those and then just hey if you need to smoke here's your 
here's your ashtray. Then again, it's like, should I let them use this? Look how cool it is though. Anyway, all kinds of Missouri things on there. I got this super cool Coconut Ditties Old Fashioned Homemade Confection. The Ohio Confection from Cleveland, Ohio. I love old tins and this one, it's cool because this would be great. Like, you know, when you're at a show or you know, you're displaying something, this could be like just to give something some height. So I really love this. I love the, the gold color on it too. Yeah, antiquing in Amana, Iowa is the best antiquing, I'm just saying. And then we went to uh, Amazing Grace. Now, Amazing Grace has all kinds of textiles and old quilts, like for cutter quilts, or sometimes they're even in really con good condition where you just would want to display them. But I got more, more button jars with metal lids and I love that they're all three different sizes wouldn't they be cool so I'm going to display them all together and they all have the cool metal lids I bought this this is um oh god what is it called I have some of this pottery row row pottery row pottery works I think is the name of it with the three stars I have uh, some bowls of theirs. Well, I had, I just love this little one. That would be really cool with toothpicks in it in my kitchen. And then for staging, this beautiful crocheted like tablecloth. It's giant, but it will be great for display. I mean, that's still folded in half. Look how huge this thing is. I mean. It really is huge. So it's it would be a great tablecloth, but I'm not using it for that. I'm going to wash it, and then I'm going to use it for uh, just for staging and photography. So I like quilts. I like, I love this. I mean, this, this is beautiful, isn't it? And their prices are so reasonable at that place. Amazing grace. So, yeah, I got some really good finds. Then on, oh... This must have been Friday morning, I think it was. Yeah, because that was all Thursday. Friday morning, before we went to uh, the retreat center, we went to the Woolen Needle. And uh, you may remember when I went to Primitive Gatherings and I showed my haul from there and I bought some pre-cut pennies while well, I did the same there I'm I'm probably going to purchase a uh, a penny cutter <laughs> they make these uh, like crank they're like die cuts or whatever anyways I don't know what they're called I have looked into it and they're not that expensive my my problem is space I have got to find the time to go through my studio, get rid of all of the stuff that I don't use. You know, over here next to me, and then over here, and then that back one, these are like three different working stations, and I used to have employees. At one time I had three employees down here with me working. This was back in my licensing days. I had an assistant, I had a graphic designer, and I had uh, a ghost painter so uh, and these walls are temporary we built them that way so that if we wanted to change it around they weren't nailed down they're just kind of like setting there but they're thick I don't know anyways I want to I want those walls taken down I might leave the wall that's going this way but there's walls going this way half walls going this way and I want to take those down and I want to get it organized to what I'm doing now Okay, I haven't had an employee here. I mean, other than Kyle and, and Kevin working on the workshop side, but I haven't had anyone working in years. And I have, so they're, they're set up, the little workstation has, it's like a desk, an L-shaped desk, because they had computers. Well, Ginger didn't, because she was a ghost painter. But the other two had, you know, 
uh, file cabinets, file drawers. Um, behind them was like a, a tabletop with dr file drawers under it. I don't need file drawers. I don't need that much room for paperwork, but I do need storage like cubbies and shelves and that's what I need now. So I want to rearrange this whole entire side of the studio and I want to put a sewing quilting area in there and a wool applique area and then the very back will be where I do my videos. I want to have I want to have a permanent station for doing my recording so I'm not dragging everything out every time. Anyways, it's going to the workflow will be so much better and I won't be so frustrated trying to find stuff. So that's the goal. <laughs> That was my goal to have done by the end of the year. I wanted to take like a couple weeks off around Christmas and just when I come down here, work on that. I might be able to do that. That's why I'm trying to get a jump on my market, uh, Nashville market things. I've gotten several things back already for that. So if I can get a jump on that and I'm not so desperate to get Nashville market, get prepped for that, then I will have time, even if it was the first of the year. But Mark my words, because sometimes when you speak it out there, it, it kind of helps you to get things done because you know you've said it and it's out in the world. But my goal, major, major goal, is to rearrange that side of the studio. And another major goal coming up is a new website, which I already talked about that. So anyways, that was a long way around saying that I bought these wonderful, look at, oh, look at these. And talking to Michelle Rudy, Farm Girl, she was very helpful because, so I thought when I designed wool applique that I had to tell them what wool I used and where to find it. And she said, you do not have to do that, which really freed me because I have a ton of wool that I purchased over the years for rug hooking and it's not even cut into. And I'm like, well, I can't use it because I don't know where I got it. Well, it's not like that with wool applique evidently like it is with punch needle and cross stitch where you the people want to know what you use so they can go get it themselves basically you just you know you would say like a burgundy wool because there's a lot of people that dye and and sell wool that don't sell it like wholesale so it's not going to be in the store anyways that was very helpful michelle rudy she's very knowledgeable and then here's like some that are different sizes so i want to get that that penny cutting machine that would be so awesome because I've got a ton of wool like I said so that freed me up to buy these little wool packs that they had at the wool and needle so this says uh, sale on wool babies <laughs> four ounces sale price 960 for 960 I got a bag full of so this is all black that one's hard to see and then I bought a couple of the like off-white so they're just like scraps probably that they had left over from making kits. So they're just nice small pieces. So that'll be very handy in my designing. And uh, I bought some more fabrics that are amazing smalls for finishing. So I think I'm set on finishing fabrics. I have nice fall colors and I showed you some in my when I was recording yesterday so I have a nice variety of small print fabrics for finishing and then I'm not gonna open these up but you will see these soon enough because I bought two two like houses that are covered with like like snow they're really really cute they're I think they're like made out of like a paper mache because I'm going to I have something for the Jingle Ball. It's a new release. It's not going to be a Jingle Ball exclusive. But it is amazing. And I'm going to kit, I'm going to have kits at the Jingle Ball. And then after the Jingle Ball, it'll still be for sale. But you'll have to buy all your pieces yourself. Anyways, it's going to be amazing. And so the two houses I bought are going to be for the, um, the display for me to do the photography. So that is my haul from, from my trip. Oh wait, I'm not done. But wait, there's more. Oh, I got these little handy clips. And I bought this, I'm gonna insert a picture. This, this does not do it justice. This to me, I would have never bought this quilt, okay? Because I don't like that. 
but they had it made there and they didn't have this big medallion in the center they didn't have that they had it in my kind of colors like rust and like blues and reds and mustardy colors it wasn't pink like this and uh, anyways, I'll insert a picture. It was beautiful, and I just kept gawking over it. Well, the lady, one of the ladies that works there, she told us how to how to make them. And so it comes with these templates. So you lay the template down, and you draw on the outside and on the inside of the template. So the outside is where you cut. The inside is where you where you fold it over and stitch anyways <laughs> I know I have all the fabric I need for that quilt because it's it's just like you could just take scraps you know what I mean so I have a warehouse kind of anyway I have like huge shelving units over there from when I designed fabric before that is all you know it's 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 probably not in the best, um, stored in the best possible way for fabric, but I, I get into it every once in a while and they are fine. They're not moldy. They're not musty. Um, it is heated over there. Not quite as warm as over here, but anyway, so far my fabric over there has been fine. I keep an eye on it just because I'm like kind of paranoid that something's going to happen to it. Um, if I had room to store it over here, I would. But anyways, uh, I thought this quilt would be really fun and i was telling uh rachel ferrera about it aggie rachel on instagram she was there i love her so much and i was telling her about this quilt and she's like um that was a really good sales lady that was telling you that was going to be easy <laughs> she said like you know get all the a lot of cutting done and then just stitch one of them together a day well i know me i'm not going to do one a day even if i made a couple a week I don't care how long it takes me. I'm not in a rush, you know, but if I just work slowly at it and it's, it's hand quilting, um, and you know, she's, I bought the needles somewhere. Anyway, I bought the needles for it. So, um, wish me luck. Okay. When I got to, now that I'm done with haul, I want to talk, well, I want to talk about stitchy kindness because stitchy kindness in this community is above and beyond like I've never been gifted so many amazing things in my life um did I talk about yeah I talked about what Maria gave me that stitchy mat Maria oh my gosh I love it I used it at the farm girl retreat I used it um I just I used it the entire week that I was gone and it's wonderful I love it so much. And then when I got there, so Lenine and Nancy from Always in Stitches in Noble, Noblesville, Indiana. Or is it Illinois? Noblesville's Illinois, Indiana. I think it's I think it's Indiana. Pretty sure it's I think it's yeah, it's like four and a half hours from me. I think it's just north of Indianapolis. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up here. Anyways, I just recently stumbled on Lenine's uh, YouTube channel. I had followed it because um, someone, God, I can't think of her name and I apologize, contacted me because she was doing Punch Needle from my Celebrate book and showing it on their YouTube channel. So I did go and watch some of that. But anyway, it, anyway I kind of forgot because, you know, the algorithm with YouTube is weird. If someone doesn't constantly post then or like if you miss some of their videos they fall off your algorithm so anyway I kind of had forgotten about their YouTube channel and it popped up one day and it was Lenine who owns this this shop and Peter and those two together are just amazing so it, I'm gonna put their YouTube channel below anyways long story longer I tend to do that sorry <laughs> Tammy Blaylock, oh my gosh, creative, um, creative country girl. Sorry, gal, my, it's, you know, it's early. I'm still drinking my coffee, so my brain's not functioning to full capacity yet. Creative country girl, I know you guys have all heard of her. I will have her Instagram linked below. I don't think she has 
a YouTube channel. If she does, then that's news to me. But I, I met her for the first time at the Annabella's retreat in April. She's a delight. She is so kind and just a sweetheart. She told me that she had uh, a stitchy bag that she was making me and she had wanted to bring it to Annabella's, but she had hurt her foot and she, it just, you know, she was out of the game for a while, okay? And, and so anyways, she got it finished and she gave it to Lenine and Nancy to bring to me at the Farm Girl Gathering. And I wanted to say, I was blown away. I'm, I, this community, telling you, is the most giving, loving, kind group of people I've ever met in my life. So she gave me one of her stitchy bags. Now, something I just discovered yesterday <laughs> is this. So when you are at the airport and you want to set this on your luggage and pull it along, this goes over the handle and sits on your luggage and it won't fall off that way. That's amazing. Yesterday I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, I love these pockets. And then I went like that and I'm like, oh, that's not a pocket. And then I instantly realized what it was. So there's a pocket here, pockets on the side, on the sides. A zipper pocket in the front and another pocket. Look at these straps so you can carry it this way. And then she also puts this amazing really long strap on that's really high quality look at that look at that workmanship oh my gosh that just blows my mind well it's heavy because i have a lot of projects in there uh let's see anyways it's it's fully lined and finished there's a big zip pocket here and there are like these kind of pockets where I've got my glasses and, and you know, stuff like that. And then this small one where you can put a pencil or a pen in it. Because, you know, those always fall to the bottom and you can't find them. But she made it out of my Bright Stars quilting fabric. And I'm, I'm in love with this. Americana is like one of my favorite things in the world. So, but wait, there's more. There's so much more, I'm still blown away. So she also made a stitchy mat. Look guys, isn't it so cool? So the stitchy mat has this floss ring, or not, yeah, floss ring, I guess that's what it's called. This is a needle minder, and then this long, long ribbon it's so cool i love that it's long though ah, incredible so that goes inside and then oh i gotta shut my furnace off well just real quick let me show you and then she gave me two project bags to match everything coordinates i will have all of uh, tammy's information below so that you can go and purchase from her uh, creative country girl tammy blaylock.com okay so she has a website but anyway she put this tag on there project designer count fabric threads look at that how clever is that and then also this amazing one it says even so, it is well with my soul. Isn't that amazing? It's so pretty. And again, this uh, project tag goes on the bag. So cool. Oh my gosh. Just gifted me with more than I could ever, <laughs> could ever imagine. So thank you, Tammy. Um, I've already contacted her, obviously. I immediately contacted her and just... I'm just overwhelmed. So what a generous, generous gift. I'm probably not going to show everything that was gifted and set at our spots. A lot of times, I know you've heard this before, you leave your spot and you come back and people have left you sweet little gifts. I just want everyone to know I had such a great time meeting all of you. Thank you if you did gift me something. 
it means the world to me. So it's just so kind. Uh, dot dot Den Denise dot dot goose <laughs> designs. Denise, she's a project bag maker, but she gifted everybody, and I have my threads in there for one of my projects. But um, she gifted everybody a thread bed. So kind of her. Y'all, that's a hundred. She made a hundred of these and gifted them. So nice. Then I mentioned Aggie Rachel uh, on Instagram. Her name is uh, Rachel Ferreira. She was on a trip in Italy and thought of me, which blows my mind. That is so, so sweet. And she purchased these super cute antique postcards. Look at the sweetness of these postcards. So very kind. And then from Tiger Lily Designs, uh, a little piece of chocolate in there. Well, most of the chocolate didn't make it home, I have to say. Uh, when I go on these retreats and stuff, y'all, it's it's like a free-for-all. There's chocolate and snacks, and it's so bad. Like, I have to detox when I get home. <laughs> but Tiger Lily gave everybody some of these adorable project information cards that you can put in your uh, bag with your project and these vintage little images sorry for the glare so cool there's tiger lily's information she has a floss tube and instagram i will make sure to um, put her in the drop down below and then i got from another sweet little gift from uh my friend denise dot dot denise so she got this at Primitive Gatherings, and it has a, um, well, there's a staple stuck to it, so that's a good magnet. <laughs> it's a magnet on the bottom, so you just put your pins in here. It's super cute. I thought it was a bowl. Like, I didn't know there was a magnet on it at first. I'm thinking it's, like, just to put some candies in or something. Good thing she told me about the magnet on the bottom. And then look at this cute little box. This is from Shelly Fry. She gifted this to everybody as well. And... I just love opening a box like this. It's so cute. And it's got some Reese's, which I will give my husband because that is his absolute favorite candy. And she gave us a little um, seam ripper and adorable scissors with a little, I love scissors that have the sheath right there with it. So thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Denise. Um, I, this was left at my spot. Oh, it has it right there. Well, it's really cool. It's for Kleenex, and it's made out of Blackbird fabric. And it was just, it just showed up there. But here we go. Jennifer Falls. Thank you so much. Here's her Instagram handle. There you go. So make sure to go to Instagram and follow Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. I love that. That'll be great in my stitchy bag, because you never know when you're going to need a Kleenex. This very sweet lady, and I, if I got your name wrong, I apologize. And if you watch this video and I did get your name wrong, please let me know in the comments. I believe your name is Jeanette. She was the first person to gift me something. <laughs> she was so, so kind, so sweet. She made, look at this, she handmade this tree topper angel. It is, look at the detail on it. It is beautiful. Some threads there. Look how pretty it is. So the angel tree topper, she knows I like angels, obviously. <laughs> An angel ornament. And she made this, y'all. That's pretty incredible. She also gifted me. I love these antique chalkboards. I mean, so these are what kids used back in the day to do their work in school. And I love finishing on them. I might even, I might even make this one where it hangs in the kitchen and we can write stuff on it. I love that. But wait, there's more. I have to tell you, she's so funny. She lives... She said like an hour, a little over an hour from Amana. So she gets to, her and her husband go there all the time. And uh, <laughs> I was standing there, I can't remember what I was standing with. And she came out and she's very talkative and very friendly and just a sweetheart. And she said, she said, Teresa's like the Taylor Swift of the cross-stitch world. And I was, 
I would burst out laughing. That was the most funny thing I think I heard all weekend. And I said, yeah, I, I just recently heard that Taylor Swift became a billionaire. And I'm like, yeah, not making that kind of money. Oh, it's so funny though. Look at this cute little, it's a little stand in this little, she knows I like Americana. So I'm going to put this in my Americana bedroom. Isn't it cool? And then look at this antique thing. Whoops, I just hit the camera. Look at this antique little, um, I don't know what they used it for back in the day, but maybe some, maybe for their pills or, um, I don't know, look at it. There's a mirror in it. So it opens there and then this side opens as well. Well, I know it does because I've opened it. Trust me. Oh, there we go. So anyway, it opens so it's a mirror on that side, a mirror on that side. It's very cool. Very cool. And I love antique stuff. Isn't it gorgeous? And then some super cool. Look at this. Ah, uh, it's got a little threader and a needle in it, and it says from Christy Fear. Oh my gosh. It, so it, it came in this little tiny little bag, which I think is sweet. And you pull it out, and it's a tag. And it has a little cut out of a little teddy bear. Let me get this part out of the way. Maybe. Look at it. It's a little bear, and he's holding a needle and a threader and then it's got her name on it in this nice 2023 charm. That was very clever. She must be a paper crafter. Love that. And then chocolates and um, beautiful thread drops from Mary. Mary W, oh, so she's at Mary W Quilts on Instagram. I met Mary, I think it was 2021. We stayed at the same uh, bed and breakfast, and so we get to have breakfast each morning. It was really good to get to know her and see her again this time. Then we have from Amber, Amber Malone. I also met her at Farm Girl a few years ago. It might have been, was it 2020? It might have been 2022. It might have been when I was the guest designer in the spring. But it was her first retreat and she had so much fun and she's been coming back to the farm girl gatherings ever since but she gave us some really cute um floss cards here's her information so on the back it says floss brand color and number and then here is her information but look at what she gave us isn't it cute it's a little spool with a little felted ball on top and cushion. I love it. And then we got scissors with a sheath on them. And I kept the paper with it so I would know who gave it to me. <laughs> From Dottie Crisp, Stitching Scotty. Oh my gosh, it was so nice to meet her. She sat fairly close to me, but Stitching Scotty. So make sure to follow her on Instagram. Gifted everybody some scissors with a little sheath. Super, super nice. Um, yeah, it's stitching. She's stitching Scotty on Instagram and on floss tube. I did not know she had a floss tube. So that is, and like I said, there might be some other things that were gifted to me that are in a pocket or a pouch somewhere. <laughs> um, but thank you to everybody that gifted something to me. I think that's it guys. So I'm just going to talk a bit about my plans. My plan. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. I wanted to save the best for last, and then I almost forgot. Ah! So the best part of the retreat was that Beth Twist was our guest designer. Oh my gosh, Beth Twist is amazing. I have only really gotten to know her at market, and as I've said before, it's so busy at market, you really don't have time to get to know somebody. But over the years, little visits here and there, I've gotten to know her. She's a delight and she is such a talented designer. And I bought, where's the stuff? Oh my gosh, I am totally not done. Totally not done because I have this bag. Okay, because she had a pop-up shop. My bad, not organized. She, this is our project. I'm gonna share the project and then I'm gonna show you what I bought in her pop-up shop. 
along with what Michelle gave us, Farm Girl gave us, just because we were there. <laughs> it was our gift from her for coming to her retreat. Okay, so this is a super cool um, bag that she had everything in, and her whole theme was like deer, woods, that whole thing. She's from Oregon, so that totally makes sense. And I'm going to insert pictures too as I'm talking because there's not a picture of everything that she showed us that she had there for us. So let me get this out. She did a really nice talk. You can make three strawberries. You can make the stitched piece that goes on top of the box. And then you have three options of which one you want to do. And I wanted to do the deer because that's the one she had done. And the deer is super cool. And then on the back, she talks about the inspiration for the piece. So she actually had purchased this antique sampler. And then she made a band sampler from it. She made the box top from it. And then three strawberries. We got all of that, you guys. It was incredible. But there's more. I'll get to it. <laughs> so I, as I'm talking, I'm going to be inserting the photos I took of her projects. Her husband, Matt, is multi-talented. Like, holy Toledo. I think he's been doing, I don't know, two or three years now. He has been making wooden accoutrement for the cross-stitch world. He is very talented. It's almost like he's been doing this for many, many, many years because of the, the quality of his products. This box was gifted to everyone by Beth and Matt. He had all the wood, and he, he engraved all of the wood. Look at how he pieced it together. It's just incredible. It lifts up, but it doesn't go all the way back because of his workmanship, he created that. So if you watch as I open it, see how it catches so that it doesn't go all the way back, which I love. So the piece that we're stitching fits on top of this. She also gave us a lesson in how to finish the inside. So she gave us the fabric. Hold on. There we go. She gave us the fabric and we all Saturday after lunch, we all made the inside of our box. And then there's this ribbon that you put in there so that you can like put your scissors in there so they don't aren't flopping around. So it's a little stitchy box and the fabric works perfectly with everything. Lady Dot creates trim inside and some buttons to put in our box, which I'm going to put the buttons in my box right now. Some wooden buttons, putting them in my box right now. And then Lady Dot creates trim that will go around the piece that we put on the box. It's a very pretty green color. Uh, let me see if I can let you know what color that is. Oh, Sequoia. Pom Pom by Lady Dot creates Sequoia. The fabric that we got is Farm Girl Dry Goods Old Amana 36 count. Oh God, look at the threads. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm working on the box top. I'll show you my progress. I started, I didn't start it at the retreat because I wanted, I was really trying to finish my autumnal bliss. But I did start this uh, yes, last night. And no, I started yesterday morning. I stitched one tree and then last night I stitched a little bit more on it. So here's our amazing floss colors against Michelle's beautiful linen. I love this color linen. And it's probably not showing up because the lighting is so crappy in here. But look at the floss colors. Look at those greens. So pretty. So, so pretty. So let me show you what I have done on mine. So I hopefully have inserted the picture of the band sampler, the picture of the box, and the picture of the strawberries by now. 
But so I have this giant piece of fabric and I meant to ask her, is this piece big enough to do all the projects? It might even say in the instructions, but you know, I'm terrible. <laughs> I don't read instructions. <laughs> But I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the box lid and then the strawberries here. And if I have enough left to do the band sampler, I will. If not, I have a lot of this kind of, you know, this color fabric. I might even be able to buy a piece, another piece from Michelle to do the band sampler. That's what I have done. Look at those cool trees. I love it. So anyway, there's trees and then the deer in the center and then trees on the other side too. Love it so much. So thank you, Beth, for being so awesome. Thank you, Matt, for being so awesome and talented as well. You both, like, that's quite the duo, those two. <laughs> it's very cool, too, because she has uh, Susanna Boyd 1816. That was the antique sampler that she purchased. And then she has, like, all the heritage of the girl on there um let's see conversion to dmc let's see what else do we have in here and then so there's just the one photo yeah and then um that picture and i mean i'm sorry just a photo and then all of the charts in there you know i've been to a lot of retreats and I think this is the first one I'm super geeked about finishing because there's this finishing box. The box is done. The inside of the box is all done. So I really am anxious to get that piece stitched and put on top of this. So stay tuned. That is that is high on my list. So I will be stitching that. You can watch my pro progress on that. Ooh, I better put my lid back in there. She had a pop-up shop. And <laughs> And I said to her, I guess I've been living under a rock. It's You know, it's hard to keep up with all the new releases that people have. So um, I, some of these I'd seen, but there were, there were a lot in there I had not seen before. And anyways, so let's just go over what I bought from her. Because I love supporting my friends, my designer friends. She had this model there. And I thought that was really pretty. Really pretty. I'm telling you, models sell. Oh, she had this model here or there. And I, it's kind of like, oh, without that frame, it's just not going to look as good. She had the absolute perfect frame on it. Look at that. And I love what it says. That's stitched on Lakeside Linens, Vintage Light Exemplars, 36 Count Gloriana Silk Threads. A couple of DMC. Stitch count 200 by 200. Not a small one, but it's all words. Well, no, there's a border. I don't know. I, I love it. I hope to get that done someday. This is a nice small one. I really love that. H is for Holly. Stitch count 80 by 80. So that would stitch up. That'd stitch up pretty quick. Then we have, oh, this is so cute. Fruit basket pendant. And she had this a little Christmas tree with her ornaments on it. And when I saw this, I was like, I gotta have that, especially when I saw it was a kit. So everything is included. You gotta love that. I've never seen that before. Uh, I had never seen these ornaments. And that looks like blue fabric, but it's not. It's gray. Fiber on a whim, dusk, 36 count. It's a gray fabric, which just looks so good on the tree. And then I have seen, she's got a couple of these, and I had to get one. Her whole trunk show was all her Christmas designs, which was very fun and festive. I loved it. Then I won a door prize. I won a door prize. Yay! So this is a 50 page journal, it's dimensions, and you can stitch on the cover. Isn't that amazing? So that was super cool, thank you Michelle. Or no, somebody, I think it was Laura Love that donated that for a prize. So thank you Michelle and Laura. And then this was something that Michelle gifted to everybody. 
its finishing fabric, some trims, and some candies in there, and this little, um, this is a little 100% be beeswax in there. So it's like a finishing kit, which I love. And then check out this bag that Michelle had made. This is, um, whoops, let me get the handle out of the way. This is one of the quotes from one of Beth Twist's patterns. I belong to the Cross Stitch Nation. Isn't that awesome? I love it so much. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> I love retreats. <laughs> I just love retreats. So now I think that's it. So basically my plans are, if I miss something, I'll mention it next time. My battery's about to die again, so I'm trying to hurry up. So I just want to work on finishing Autumnal Bliss, hopefully fully finishing that as well, and then working on the retreat piece from Beth. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get that done. And I don't know, what else was I working on? What else did I show you? Just basically continue to work on my projects. Today is Wednesday. I'll be doing What You Paint Wednesday this afternoon. I will be painting a Santa because I am painting things for the Jingle Ball. And I got to, next week, I'm going to really put my head down and focus on uploading products and exclusives and things for the Jingle Ball. So if you haven't gotten your Jingle Ball ticket yet, you need to do so. You need to be there. Uh, even if you just pay the $10 for the ticket to get in, there's stitchy rooms so you can hang out 24 hours a day for three days with friends and stitch all through the night if you want. You don't even have to get out of your pajamas. No one will know. And there are a couple of free classes. There are meet and greets with all of the designers. All of us designers are doing some kind of entertainment for you, so that'll be an ongoing reel that you can watch and laugh and have a good time with. And then there are classes. Um, some classes are still open, some classes are closed. So um, just check it out. I'll have the link below where you can purchase your ticket. You have to purchase a ticket before you can then purchase a ticket for a class. So anyways, and you have to use the same email address. That is utmost importance. Use the same email address, email address that you purchase your ticket with. That is your login. So you have to use the same email if you go and purchase a class. Use the same email. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get in. Another thing to know is that you can only be streaming the Jingle Ball on one device. So it would be best to do it on like a laptop computer, a, a, a bigger computer. You could play it on your phone and sync that to your television. That'd be the best way to watch it because it would be full screen. I know there are shops, uh, primitive gatherings. I know they are going to be streaming that on their TV and they're going to have a big gathering there. I mean, how fun is that? So I can't wait. I hope to see you at the Jingle Ball. Leave a message down below if you are going to be at the Jingle Ball. And I think, I think that's it for now. I will probably be doing another, uh, another, well, we have the grandkids this weekend, so it won't be this weekend, but the following weekend. So hopefully I have a lot of things to show you. All right. Peace out. Don't forget, create every day. Bye now. Spring of Green, Wisconsin. Look at that beautiful, beautiful quilt. So I just learned today that Jeannie Horton, the owner of Country Sampler, designs fabric for Wyndham. I did not know that. I love her muted color palette. So kitchen. Kitchen. So cool. Everything in here is just so cool. <laughs> like that. And then that's where we're sitting and stitching. There's a little sitting area here, which is very nice. I love how many windows there are up here. So this is what we're working on. And then this is a lot bigger than I thought. I just, I didn't really know what to, I didn't know what to expect. But I love that everything is decorated with wool and quilts. There's a nice big bathroom there. 
This is uh, for towels and things in there. Laundry room here. There's a room here. Um, and then a room there. And then another big bathroom here. Like these lights. Oh, those little lamps. Super cool. Look at that. I just love that. And then this is where Donna and I are staying. Look at that, it's so pretty. And I just noticed this morning that so there's this door here and we can go sit outside if we want. It's so nice. So I just got done shopping at the Country Sampler and I do plan on going back and recording. Look at that pretty quilt. I'm gonna go back and record the shop and all the coolness at the shop. I love these, these bed covers. They're very vintage and very antique looking. So there you have it. That is the amazing apartment above the Country Sampler in Spring Green, Wisconsin. Took me about eight hours to get here. Of course I stopped, you know, to gas up. Once at a rest area, use the bathroom, and then um, stopped at Culver's, and then I did stop at, <laughs> I stopped at Walgreens because, like I said, I didn't know what this would be like, and I was afraid it would be like, I just pictured like one big open studio apartment, and I just thought, oh my gosh, if somebody snores, I won't get any sleep, so I stopped and got earplugs. But anyway, so there's a total of six of us here. So Donna and I are in, in a room and she's she sleeps very quiet like I do. So it was I got a lot of rest last night. Well, I went to bed at midnight, which is actually one o'clock Michigan time. So it was kind of late. But yeah, isn't it cool? Cute little town. Just so happy to be here and uh, to be stitching with friends. Right there, gonna watch the game today. I have to look and what, see what time they play, but Detroit plays. I have my Detroit Lions shirt I'm going to put on because, you know, finally Detroit is a good team this year. <laughs> All right, peace out. Look where I'm at. <laughs>